Hi everybody, Sahil Wara here from C++BetterExplained.com and in today's video we're going to be talking about string string classes in the C++ language. This video is going to be a pretty short video, it's not going to go into too long as the concept of string string classes are, are, very, are very basic and it's not that complex to, to understand in my opinion. So what are string string classes in C++? So the use of string string classes in C++ is that you know, that they are similar to, to the C and C add um, components of the C++ program. But what it is, is that the string string uh, class is just like another, it's just like another object, like, like the C out uh, uh, thing that we use in C++. But what we can use with the, with the string string class is, is that the data can go into a C++ string instead of the console. So to be able to implement uh, and utilize uh, the string stream in C++, we need to include the header file, which is uh, ssstream here, uh, as I'm as I'm just showing to you guys here, uh, because the advantage of using the string the string string classes is that it's a it's a convenient way to be to be, to use uh, between strings and, uh, and other numerical types. So we can both we can work with both uh, strings and different uh, different variable types, and we can combine those two together to be to be utilized, which I'm going to show you guys an example of. So the, the basic methods of the string stream in the in the C++ language include so these are the, these are the uh, the five element the, the five different uh, things we can use. So we have the clear we have the clear function which which clears the error bits in the string stream object so that it can be used again, and it it, it needs to be called every single time when we're par when we're parsing a new string with the string stream object. And then we have uh, the str function, so that returns the string, the string associated with the, st the string stream object. And then we have the str, and then we have uh, the then we have uh, the s element inside the parameters. So that, so this associates this associates the, sh the string s to the string stream object. Uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you an example of this in the, in the next slide, so don't worry. And then we've got the the two two the, the two operator functions. Uh, you know, one's one's going to, to the left and one's going to the right. So one, the one that's going to the left, that's that's adding it, that's adding a string to the string stream object, and the operator which is going to the right, that's reading something from the string stream object. So what I've got here is that I've got a basic example here where we've got a string uh, declared here, which which can, which contains uh, numbers and and characters so we've got hello world being shown here and then on line 7 here what I'm doing is uh, is that I'm creating a string stream object and then what we're doing here so what we're doing here is that on, on line number 9 here is that we're feeding in the values held in that string so all the values inside the str string are going to get feed into the string stream declared in line number 7 then we have our variable then we have our variable set up so we've got uh, uh, we've got a float, an integer, a an array of uh, which is which is restricted to, to twenty elements, and then we've got uh, a, ca a character as well. And then what we're doing here is that we we fit with so so now we're using uh, the right hand operator as I talked about in the previous slide to read something from the string stream object. So these are now reading all, all these are reading all the elements inside uh, the str string here. And that's and that's assigning it to each variable which is declared here, and then what's happening here is that I'm I'm outputting, uh, so now it's outputting the, sh the string stream uh, over here, as you can see for on line number 20, 21, 22, and line number twenty three, and that's getting displayed out there. So this is a very a very basic example of how we can utilize utilize string streams uh, in our C plus plus programs. Where we can read in, we can read, we can read in string, and then we can we can extract our elements out of it, out of a string, and, and set it to uh, the variables that we have declared. So if this video ha video has helped you out a lot, don't forget to smash that like button down below, and don't to, to, don't forget to click on the red button down below to subscribe to the latest videos of the C++ Bitter Explained YouTube channel. Are you still struggling learning how to program, but you start to can't seem to get the fundamentals? Well, it's time to finally change that forever because if you really want to get guided by me, I can show you how to learn the fundamentals of the C++ programming language. And if you want to get started today, 
click on the link below to book a free 30 minute call with me and it's, I'll be able to, get to have a phone call with you and go through the issues that you're having and the, and the problems that you're trying to solve and I'll be able to help you on the phone call and guide you on the best way to, to get started on learning the C++ programming language. And if you don't, and if you're still unsure, I still advise you to click on the link below and book that call today because I'll be able to pinpoint your issues and guide you in the right direction of where you want to go in terms of learning the C++ programming language.